Money is like ice cream. If you keep it too long, it melts. And it melts pretty fast in South America, where the peso is tumbling like crazy. The three countries most affected are Colombia, Chile and Argentina. Particularly, Argentina has been hit hard. From food to toilet paper, prices of everyday products are on the rise and change every day. Citizens distrust their currency so much, they now choose to save in dollars or cryptocurrency, if they can save at all. But can crypto be a likely alternative to the peso? The rise in remote work during the pandemic created new job opportunities for many Argentinians, allowing them to work for companies abroad. But challenges appear when it comes to cashing in on the money. The government imposed a rule on turning US money entering Argentina into pesos. And those taxes effectively cut the hard work salaries in half. A way to avoid this is to use crypto. People that work for companies abroad link a payment account to a crypto exchange. There they buy stable coins. Stable coins are packed to a real currency and less prone to inflation. And those stable coins are then converted into cash. This can be done legally via peer-to-peer -peer networks or exchanges. If the money is then sent to the bank, you must pay tax. Another way to receive cash is the black market exchange, the so-called caves. It's not legal because you are not uh, declaring the, that income. If you are going to a cave and you get cash paper money, you, 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 you are not even uh, leaving your steps in the financial system. Argentina ranks 13th place when it comes to cryptocurrency adaptation rates worldwide. 16% of the population used digital currencies in 2019. That percentage has almost doubled in 2022. One in three Argentinians buys or sells crypto at least once a month. But if people and financial services all move to crypto, how would this affect the economy? What we learn from another country where, where that happened, um, and in my personal opinion and analysis, that will be a really, a really good news. Because if that part of the sector ends into crypto, Argentina will not only promote the, uh, um, promote sorry the crypto market, but also be more interesting for investors. However, other experts stress that there are also some downsides. Of course, crypto will not provide a solution for all of Argentina's economic woes. Crypto can also bring its own problems, such as currency speculation and scams. And let's not forget about the environmental impact of Bitcoin mining. Cryptocurrencies are also constantly criticized for being extremely volatile, though so is the peso currently. Argentinians are traumatized from the Great Depression in the late 1990s and the financial crisis in 2018. Accounts were frozen and savings became worthless overnight. So cryptocurrency could be an alternative for people suffering from inflation. It is a currency politicians cannot touch. That's why some people believe in crypto as the less risky choice. I absolutely believe that in countries like in Argentina, where we are supposed to have almost 100% of inflation this year, they're having 8% of inflation per month. So we cannot save and store value with our local currency. I absolutely believe that in our conditions, the crypto are at least one alternative. However, only a minority know how to deal with it. Tech-savvy people may be able to protect their money from inflation. But what about farmers, teachers or nurses? There could be a great imbalance between those who understand the technology and those who don't. It could become a big struggle to make the general public understand crypto. What do you think? Would you use crypto to save money? Let us know and see you next time.